creating a, sh a safe shopping environment for staff and shoppers was job number one. Unfortunately, creating a safe environment isn't necessarily good for retailing. And that's exactly what retailers discovered when the pandemic hit with full force. My name is Mark Risky, and over the course of this nine-part series, we're going to examine how the pandemic has impacted retail store traffic and shopper conversion. Retailers across the board, those that were deemed to be essential, could let customers into the store, but they were regulated by occupancy limits. Signs were put up saying stop. And of course, we know what happens when people see a stop sign, they stop, which is the antithesis of what retailing is truly all about. And for retailers that didn't have traffic data, they were forced to track those shoppers and the occupancy by hand, creating yet another distraction for their store teams. But inside the store, it was even worse. What did we do? We told our shoppers where they had to stand, how far they should stand apart from each other, which direction of the aisles they should walk or not walk. Again, it was the exact opposite of what would define a terrific shopping experience. And the protocols, they seem to change daily from masks and hygiene and hand washing. Everything was in a constant state of flux. And as retailers scrambled to try to determine what protocols they should be applying to their stores, something really remarkable happened. And that is industry leaders, retailers like Kroger, came out with a blueprint for businesses. They shared their best practices with any retailer that wanted to better understand how the leaders were conducting themselves with protocol. It was really a remarkable time. And so what were the takeaways? Well, number one, retailers learned they need to be clear about what their occupancy limits are for every one of their stores. Many were scrambling when these occupancy limits were imposed by the government. Number two, retailers need to be prepared to set up their stores for triage. When customers do come into their store, they need to make sure they can process that transaction as quickly as possible, get that shopper in and out, and the next one in. Join us next time where the next lesson we're gonna look at is performance metrics and forecasts and how all these things became utterly obsolete as the pandemic raged on.